The hunt is on in Tornado Alley. The season is coming to a close, but it's not going down quietly. Weather models for mid-June indicate that the skies above the Midwest are about to explode. For twister chasers, this could mean their last chance to use their skills to catch a high volume of storms until next spring. All signs indicate that today Kansas will be a tornado hotspot, but still, finding them won't be easy. Twister chaser Roger Hill unveils his strategy to his tour group before they hit the road. I would say probably like Oberlin, Kansas, uh, Atwood, Kansas, northeastward through McCook, Nebraska. And you get a storm of tracks on the warm front today, and it'll, it'll do really good things. You all fun yesterday? Yeah. Oh, Great oh yes. Oh, my goodness, three days in a row with tornadoes. Uh, what, what more can you ask for? The Twister sisters are already heading south through Nebraska. We're in a particularly dangerous situation, Tornado Watch, and things could start to go up, I suppose, a little west of us also. But right now there's stuff going up, initiating right in front of us. Just a few cells, it's actually congealing oh, that's into... a beautiful, pretty cell there. Everyone's instincts are on the mark. By early afternoon, Roger and his group are on the trail of the first twister of the day. Bingo! Roger likes what he sees on the computer screen. Weather data indicates the conditions are perfect for a tornado-producing supercell nearby. We're in the spot we need to be, but we may want to go a little bit farther north and a little farther east. Let this thing get going. As they push forward, Roger spots the first signs of a developing tornado. RFD developing on the south side of it. See the dirt streak coming across the field here? That's indicative of tornado genesis. It's in the process. We got to be patient. Then they see it. In the field to their left is a massive and dynamic tornado. Oh, big one. My God. Yellow way, Cindy, yellow way. It's a spectacular twister. The most stunning they've seen so far. Now that's what I've come to see. Gonna cross the road about a half a mile in front of us. Oh man, look at that thing blow! Oh. Can you take a picture of me? Uh, look at that, look at how fast that thing's moving. Woo. The twister is moving past them, and Roger wants to reposition before the rear flank downdraft strikes. He orders everyone back in the van. Oh, look at that! Go! Oh. Oh. You guys want to get close, you got close. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Twister sisters see the same tornado from along a nearby highway. Tornado right now. Woo Look at that thing. It's got a big debris field underneath it. Oh, it might be roping out soon. In a matter of moments, the tornado dissolves. Just 10 miles further south, Roger calls over the radio. He's found another tornado. There's a wedge tornado on the ground. There's a monster, probably a half a mile, three quarter mile wide. Unlike typical funnels, a wedge tornado has a massive cloud, wider than it's tall. What they lack in dynamic movement, they more than make up for in sheer strength. Oh, what a tornado, it's huge! This thing is a mile wide. Look at the Listen. look at the look at the look at the board, the horizontal vortices he's wrapping around it. This thing has violent category written all over it. F3, F4. Yeah. Let's hit something out there. Look. Let's go northeast. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Quick. Quick. Let's get really close. Several miles down the road, the Twister sisters get a weather update and decide to follow a cell developing 30 miles to the west. Here's our storms. It's moving towards the interstate. Um, in this area, there's a lot better moisture and the better wind direction. It looks really good. So I'm 
Really excited that it might produce something here in a few minutes. Right on cue, the second tornado of the day drops from the storm. Look at it, it's coming down. Hey, look at that, Peggy. Well, it's just going to get better. Meanwhile, Roger's hunch is also paying dividends, and the group catches one of the most picturesque tornadoes of the season. tornado is still miles away so they push to get closer but this storm has a unique surprise in store for the chasers all eyes are focused on the tornado to the left until someone looks to the right The vans move forward cautiously. When the road dips down, Roger becomes concerned about the muddy conditions. He doesn't want to become trapped while two unpredictable tornadoes spin less than a quarter of a mile away. To get the hell out of here because the road is a mud puddle. But the mud is not all that's slowing the van. Powerful winds are literally holding them in place. The RFD wind is what's blowing us sideways. We're stuck. I'm not even moving. With few options, Rogers let everyone out to enjoy the last tornadoes of the day. We're stuck right here, folks. Get out if you want. We got the side of all sides right here. Over the next few moments, one tornado dies off, while the other stretches out across the field in front of them. Soon the storms give out, but not after putting on a memorable show. Roger celebrates with his wife. Well, this was a success. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. I'm glad you came that last 20 miles. That's, that's <laughs> there was never any doubt in our mind that we were staying. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> Wow, what a show. Law and nature at her finest. The day ends up being the climax of the year and what chasers call a tornado fest. More than a dozen twisters are caught by the Twister sisters and Roger Hill combined. For tornado chasers, it's been the ultimate high. Tornadoes are emblematic for both how much we know of the natural world and also how much we cannot know or do not know. At the heart of it all, when you ask why do people do this, I think there is, um, there is this desire to encounter the sublime directly. We came 6,000 miles and it was worth every mile. I'd go double that again to see what I've seen. It's more than just seeing a tornado, really. It's enjoying nature, it's experiencing all the storms. In my lifetime, I've seen 260 tornadoes, and every tornado I see is like the first one I ever saw. Forecasts of fair skies over the following week signaled the end of tornado season. And as the fury in the sky gives way to summer weather, so too the roads of the American Midwest return to their placid rural field. Soon, Peggy and Melanie will return to their normal lives back in Minnesota. Roger Hill will change his focus to hurricanes and head to the Gulf Coast. Scientists and researchers will process the data from this season and shed further light on these magnificent storms. All until the following March, when severe weather and Tornado Alley calls out to them again.